Imagine 2020 is Denver's cultural plan that was really developed by the people of Denver based on what they would like to see more of in regards to arts and culture in their city. And it's based on seven vision elements. So it provides a forward thinking way of looking at culture in our city and ways that we can strive for more engagement in the arts. What's been really exciting is to see the community come together and adopt the plan and advance it with their own vision, with their own organization. A lot of the other neighborhoods, they got their dumpsters taken away, but it was in the alleys. For these housing projects, they put them right here on the streets. We wanted to decorate them a little bit for this community, give them ownership of their own space. Wings of the City, Alas de la Ciudad, is an art piece by Jorge Marin, a contemporary artist from Mexico. It was about amplification. We got coverage here in town, but also in Mexico. Free for Kids at the Denver Art Museum is really in the same spirit as Imagine 2020. You have the major institutions, they have wide open doors, and they really want to make their offer attractive to everybody in the city. I think that is something that's very Denver. Warm Cookies of the Revolution, we're a civic health club, so we try to get people involved in civic issues, but we try to do it in ways that aren't too boring. Everything that we do with Warm Cookies, but also with the Stomping Ground games right now, is geared towards getting regular community folks involved in learning about what the issues are and then taking action on it. That's what we do. That's what every one of our programs is about. We need local creative problem solvers in order to build the kind of city that works for everybody. A city that is not just good for some, but great for all. I think Youth on Record is important to Denver because anyone can just come in here and, and use the, the space whichever way they like. You're always able to meet more people. If you need uh, someone to sample a guitar for your beat, you know, just anything at all. There's a lot of different people who come by. And I think that's really powerful for the community. Hope Tank is a for-profit social enterprise where we sell gifts that give back. If we are going to be a city that's leading in uh, growth, we really need to include everyone in that growth and giving people jobs and opportunities to sell their products is a huge part of that. The 303 Artway is a new nine mile urban trail that's proposed to connect various neighborhoods across a wide variety of social and economic conditions. We need people to come out to give us input, to remain engaged over a long period of time. It will take years to actually implement the 303 Artway idea. So making sure that people remain excited about this is really part of our challenge. Everyone can get involved with Imagine 2020, and that's what we hope for. It's not just about art organizations, it's about bringing people together, it's about sharing what inspires you, because the arts matter in Denver and everyone matters in the arts. Quite frankly, when we say let's imagine Denver in 2020, again, we're talking about arts and culture, and we're talking about it as a foundation of our quality of life and a foundation of really defining who we are.